Good morning. I was listening to Bishop's message yesterday. Um, I wasn't there in person and live. Um, I was actually back in the nursery, so I caught the replay this morning. <clears throat> and it kind of just jolted me into prayer, um, especially when he was talking about, you know, our, our church and our church family. We're all about prayer. And then he goes on and prays for, um, we start out our service with prayer. You know, he, he pray for those who, who are not feeling well. And he just, he's a man of prayer. And we just thank God for our bishop, um, Dr. Carl Diedrich Parrott, and our pastor, Lady Kamisha Parrott. We just love them. I love them. We love them. If you know anything about Raymond, we love our leaders. And so we honor them now. Um, but he just kind of just, you know, I'm trying to get better at praying, um, and praying more and interceding. And, and so it was placed on my heart to pray for our men. So I just wanted to encourage those of you who have men in your life, whether it's fathers, natural fathers, spiritual fathers, um, husbands, you know, sons, any family member that's a male. We're praying for our men today. It was in my spirit to do that. So I did that, and I'm going to continue to do that. Praying for my own husband and praying for the men in my life. But also, those of you who, you know, want to have a man in your life as far as a, you know, a husband, you know, pray for that, that man, you know, and that God causes him to find you as a, as a, as a woman. Um, we're not really supposed to go and look for a husband. We're supposed to, you know, prepare so that he can find us. So um, God will place it, you know, what God puts together, let no man put asunder. So, but I just want to encourage us to pray for our men, that we pray for them as men of valor. I was also, um, you know, it was, I was also convicted about, you know, we got to be careful, even our thoughts, that even though the person may not be hearing or seeing, if we roll our eyes or if we, you know, whatever we may be, you know, even as we're trying to grow, you know, that might be a, a step in the right direction, but we still need to work on that, you know, where we used to be verbal with it, like say something or make some type of, um, you know, a gesture or some type of, you know, sound out of our mouth, you know, or something like that. Um, you know, God doesn't honor that. So we need to honor and respect our men in our lives. You know, wives, especially your husbands, we're supposed to submit to them and honor them and respect them. So, uh, you know, like I said, let's let's lift our men up. You know, those who know anything about prayer, we pray for our husbands, pray, pray for the men in our lives. Like I said, all of the different males in our lives, um, that God just covers them and keeps them and strengthens them to be the man, you know, and if they're not, you know, what they should be or if they're not you know meeting the expectations or whatever that's again a, re a good a good place and a good reason to pray you know lord touch their hearts you know lord let them have the mind of christ your you know the christ's mind you know pray over whatever that is whatever that situation or whatever that circumstance is i heard when my sisters uh uh talk about it in in their uh um broadcast you know God can take care of it way better than we can, you know. Um, so let's pray for them, you know, and ask, you know, God, please help us. And that's one of my prayers this morning. I was like, Lord, please help me to be a better person, a better wife, a better, you know, mother, whatever it is, you know. Uh, we have to examine our own selves and look at our own selves in the mirror and, uh, you know, make sure we're doing the right thing and that we have those fruit of the Spirit that we're looking for from someone else. And that was another thing Bishop was saying. We look for uh, what we desire. We look, you know, for other people. Um, we look for it in other people. Or we try to do it so that we can receive it back in return. So um, to me, that's sowing and reaping. So I just uh, want to encourage you today um, in that. Well, I was taking my walk before this sun came out too, too heavy. But uh, yeah, let's pray for our men in our lives. Um, and those who don't have a man in their life, um, then we pray for God to, you know, if you want one, <laughs> pray for God to send that man 
um, and just pray what God's word says. Don't pray for, you know, um, I guess um, we do have our personal requests, you know, and desires of our heart, um, you know, but let's pray what God would want us to have. You know, what does God's word say, you know, so, and if you don't know, open up that Bible, dust it off, and open it up and, and see what God's word says about that. That could be the very reason why we don't have what we've been wanting for so, so long. So, all right, you all have a wonderful day. I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. And you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you to include this. All right, love you.